Hi, my name's Kate and I'm a high school math teacher starting out my 17th year of teaching. So I thought that I would make a short video sharing some of my absolute favorite tools that I use in the classroom, things that I absolutely cannot live without. So um, I'm planning on sharing, not necessarily not my top five, but five of my absolute favorite items. So one of those items would be this calculator caddy that I have here. So I have it just hung on, there's my podium. So it's just hanging up on my podium in the front of the room and it's got the numbers one through 30 on there. And the way that I use this is that over on my whiteboard on the left hand side I have a list of all of my geometry classes all the students and they are assigned a number and that corresponds with the calculator that they take so they come in they take their assigned calculator and the best part is that they put their cell phone in the calculator pouch so that I do not have to deal with cell phones I am extremely tired of dealing with the battle of cell phones and this has helped now I do have a few students who are refusing to follow through that with that policy so I've contacted home and the next step is going to have administration talk to them because this is just, I know many of you guys can relate. Cell phones are completely out of hand and I'm just, I'm done with them. And I know a lot of my colleagues are, so we're all starting to implement similar policies. So this is one of my absolute must haves. Definitely recommend if you don't have a solution for cell phones, this has been fabulous. All right, so sitting on the floor to show you guys my another one of my top favorite items. Um, so I will put a picture over here as well. It's a doorbell, and this is the other part of my doorbell where it makes a noise. So I know a lot of elementary teachers use the doorbell as, you know, like a, a bring the class back together or, you know, transitional type thing. I use mine as an actual doorbell because I realized that high school students have no idea how to knock on a door. They just stand at my door and from the front of my room, which is kind of where I'm sitting right now you can't see the door I can't see the window and sometimes they'll knock and they knock like this and it's like sometimes my kids are like there's somebody at the door and I was like well how am I supposed to know if you're just standing there or if you knock super light you know my class is always busy we're talking we're working and it's pretty noisy in my room so I have added the doorbell I do have a sign on my door that says please ring the doorbell and then I've labeled it doorbell as again you guys can see in that picture and it's been pretty good so I've had to teach my kids how to use it yes I could teach them how to knock on the door but honestly they do enjoy pressing the doorbell so it's been a fun addition to my classroom Okay, so another can't live without item or must have item for me are binders. So I have a big two inch binder for my curriculum for each of my classes. So the two inch binder typically is enough to hold a semester's worth of stuff. So in my binder, I have my different units and in there I have all of the classwork, the homework, the quizzes, the tests, everything. I keep a master copy in the page protectors and and then I have the worked out solutions as well. So besides just having these big binders, cause this is, this is big, this is heavy. And this actually doesn't even have one of my units in there. So along with having this big two inch binder, the other part of this must have binder system is a one inch binder for each class. So I have one for all of the classes that I teach labeled on the spine labeled here. I've got my classes color coded so I know exactly which color is which one. And then in here I just have, so we've got our units by design and then I just have one unit at a time in here. So I'm teaching unit one right now. So I have everything for unit one right in here so I can easily grab it. You can see on my bookshelf right here. So there's my my quantitative reasoning there's my pre-calc and then algebra 2 which I'm not teaching right now but I have all of those binders so I can easily grab this while I'm teaching and I have this information so binders is another must-have item for me so my fourth must-have item is oh, this big box so this box stores is meant for storing uh, photos in but what I used to store it in if I open this up are my different task cards for my classes. So I have one of these big things for my pre-calc class. I have one for my geometry, one for my algebra two, and then I actually have another one that holds, uh, that's twice as wide as this. So it only has half as many boxes, but they're twice as thick for my sets that are really
really big. Um, I've got a couple of geometry and a couple of pre-calc that are really thick because there's a lot of cards, so I can't fit them in one of these, so I have them in that other one. So this has been really nice, and I label those so I know that this one's over exponents. I have this one over factoring, this one, you know, finding the lowest common denominator. So just in here, I haven't laminated some of these, I need to, um, but then I just have all my task cards printed out and printed out each set on a different color so it makes it really easy for me just to flip through and sort them real quick to give them to my kids. I do in some of them as well, which I want to go back through all of them. I have the answer key, so that makes it really easy when I need to check the answers or just post it up on the front board and tell my teams, especially with pre-calc, okay, when you guys are done with these task cards, go check your answers. You know, I'll hang them underneath the clock or whatever, and the kids can go grab those. So this system definitely a must have for me. They're kind of expensive. Wait till they go on sale, but they're absolutely worth it. And I store them, let me swing you around. It's a little messy under there, but I store them underneath my front table so I can stack two here. And then I have two stacked over there so that I have them for easy access. And I do have them labeled right on the front so I can grab whichever one that I need. So I just leave a note in my um, my binder system that tells me, oh, we're doing these task cards or we're doing this today. So another must have item. So my fifth must have item for this video are these pencil boxes. I know I've talked about this in one of my day in the life videos, but I use these pencil boxes anytime I have supplies for my team. So I have eight boxes. Each of them has a team number. So there's team one, there's mine for team eight and then I just put in here the supplies that they need for the period so in this class that we were using they needed both scissors glue and tape for one of our more complicated foldables that we were doing in geometry um, but I like putting everything in here because I can make sure that all the teams return the supplies and then if I find a random pair of scissors laying around I know where it belongs and I know if supplies turn up missing I know which team to talk to because they are assigned a team number and they're assigned a pencil box and I can get those supplies. So that's something that I've been using for 17 years. Actually, these pencil boxes, I bought my very first year. They've held up for 17 years. Um, and I've had some really great kids. I've had some really rough kids. Uh, and they've lasted through the 17 years. I did buy them on at Walmart, really cheap, you know, back to school time. But those have been a really great way of managing supplies rather than having the kids, oh, how many scissors do we need? How many glue sticks do we need? You know, all those questions that eliminates it. They just pick up their pencil box and it has everything that they need. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this edition of um, my five must have items in my classroom. I will link everything that I can find in the description below. If I can't find the exact thing, I will find something similar. Um, any of the links that I leave that are Amazon, those are going to be affiliate links. It does not cost you anything extra. It just gives me a little extra money to help fund my classroom and to buy more supplies so I can continue doing the fun things that I do with my kids. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're interested in following along more with my high school math journey, please subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.